When we first introduced you to Beatrice two days ago, she had lost almost all hope. A tornado damaged her Lancaster home five years ago. She feared help would never come. She was wrong. Our viewers answered her prayers in a big way. DeMond Fernandez takes us to the home makeover project now underway. We want to pray for all of the people that are giving, Father God. That if prayer changes things, we will do it. Then a mountain of change and help. Lord, you know that she has uh, been a soldier. Is finally here for 82-year-old Beatrice journey. Stevenson. Just, you know, we think she was in need. Contractors, a variety of them, and concerned community members, too. So we're here to assist in whatever ways we can. Are now showing up to the widow's damaged home in Lancaster in strong numbers. After hearing her story this week about how contractors allegedly left the repair job after a tornado hit the place five years ago. Ms. Stevenson says her home's been in shambles all this time. I'm just thankful. I know God answers prayer. Her prayers and the community's kindness are bringing together a group of good Samaritans committed to providing a circle of support. Electricians are now looking at wiring. Winstead Plumbing also quickly sent a crew to assess Stevenson's home after seeing her story. Because we'll need to come in and do our part before, you know, sheetrock and all them people come. Members of groups like Oak Cliff Community Cares and Dallas NAACP are stepping up too. They're ready to mobilize volunteers. Once we have a needs list, and you tell us what we need to do, we do that well. We follow order. The order of how things ended up here is now being investigated by the local constable. Community, a big. We cannot go backwards. We have to move forward here, Miss B. Organizers with the American Black Cross are working with Mrs. Stevenson, arranging legal support and hotel stay as crews prepare to fix up her house. We got your back. Mrs. Stevenson admits all of this unexpected support so fast is overwhelming, but she told me she's so very gracious. I'm so thankful. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News. I believe DeMond has met a lifelong friend. Since we began sharing Mrs. Stevenson's story this week, many of our viewers have been asking how they can help. Some have already made their arrangements, providing bedding and furniture, some other donations. The organizers who, who Mrs. Stevenson now trusts uh, to help, they have told her that uh, they have more details about her immediate needs. You can just go to WFA.com and then click on DeMond's story for more information.